Hey, this is Ryan and Zach from One Republic. For more interviews or exclusive performances, click here to subscribe to the Much YouTube channel. Till the love runs out, till the love runs out. I got my mind. So we're here in Barbados. You guys have toured all around the world. Yes. How does this place compare? Our booker, our main guy that books us around the world, he has a house here he's had for years. So he's been talking to us about Barbados for like eight years. So we're finally here. So we're trying to squeeze in, in 36 hours, we're trying to squeeze in literally as everything much as do. possible. So now are you guys going to write a song in Barbados? Because I know you've been writing all around the uh, world, basically. Yes. I mean, well, I'll definitely, I'll probably, I just, I'm always working on lyrics and melodies, uh, so likely there will be something that I do here. Let's talk about longevity. You guys have been a band for over 10 years. How do you guys stick together? How do you keep that bond strong well, this many years later? Secret is like, definitely don't go off the deep end in anything, like drugs, alcohol, uh, women, like, you know, moderation is, and I don't mean moderate your drug use, but I mean like, right, right. I think the bands that the bands that break up are the ones, there's a lot of infighting, there's a lot of extreme personalities. We don't have yeah. very extreme personalities. Yeah. I'm super type A, and, and, and I, there's five of us in the band. I'm, a, I'm the only one in the band that is super type A. If you have two super type A's in any kind of band, yeah. that's recipe for disaster. So a lot of the stars aligned for us to stay together this long. And we all just love what we do. We love what we do. We love great music. We don't want another job. That's it. That's it. Love your job. Just love your job. Love your job. So um, let's talk Ed Sheeran. You guys are opening for him at Wembley Stadium. Yeah, Wembley Stadium. 260,000 people for three, over the three days. That's insane. And he handpicked you to open. So how does that feel? We were talking about something else. This is about a month ago, I think. I don't even know what we were talking about. Touring, when's your tour done? He's like, what are you doing? I was like, we're halfway through making the album, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but like, would you want to open the Wembley dates? And I was like, yeah. Yeah, that'd be amazing. I mean, it's a stadium. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, he's, ama he's amazing. He's a phenomenon is a better word. Phenomenon. And, um, but he's just a dude. So he's a cool guy. We get along with him a lot, and uh, it makes sense. It's awesome. We're, we're so excited to open for him. So cool. Well, there's a very exciting thing happening with Ed right now. He's going to be hosting our award show. I heard the about The annual that. MMVAs. I heard about that. How do you think he's going to do as a host? Oh, he's going to crush it. Oh, yeah. Do you have any like, special guy. message for him? Ed, when you get up there, when you're hosting, uh, don't think about anything other than the fact that, in all likelihood, if I was hosting, I would be funnier, slightly more intelligent, and a little more astute in delivery. But don't think about that. When you're up there, focus on the job at hand because you have a job to do. So don't think about me because I'm not going to be thinking about you. But do a good job. Mazel, mazel tov. All right. Yeah. Barbados. Barbados.